Good morning children. In today's class we are going to learn about harmonic mean. Averages we had already learnt arithmetic mean and geometric mean. In today's class let us see the formula for harmonic mean when the data is ungrouped, discrete or continuous. HM shortly we call N by sigma 1 by X. If it is discrete data, capital N by sigma F by X, where capital N is sigma F, the total frequency. For continuous data, HM equals N by sigma F by M. Continuous data is given in class intervals, where M is the midpoint of class interval. HM is restricted in usage. It is mainly used for computing average rate of increase of profits. Let us remember in word problems wherever increase of profits are given we can find out the average as HM and average speed at which a journey has been performed. So, these are the places where harmonic mean is computed. And the next idea, average price at which an article has been sold. Having learned the three different averages, AM, GM, HM, we must know the relationship between them. AM is the biggest of all the three. AM greater than or equal to GM greater than or equal to HM. Why this equal symbol is given? By any chance are the three equal? Yes. AM equals GM equals HM. If all the numbers X1, X2, etc. up to Xn are identical. Let us proceed into exercise problems. Exercise 8.1 question number 6. An aeroplane flies along the four sides of a square at speeds of 100, 200, 300, 400 km per hour respectively. What is the average speed of the aeroplane around the square? We know average speed is computed using harmonic mean given four data. So, it is ungrouped data, call them as X. We recall the formula for harmonic mean, it is N by sigma 1 by X. What is N? How many values are given? 4. So, N is equal to 4. And 1 by X, we need to compute. You can directly write 1 by 100, 1 by 200, 1 by 300 plus 1 by 400. By taking LCM, you will get an accurate answer. Otherwise, let us use calculator. 1 by 100, you find out in decimals for each. Total it all. This is sigma 1 by x. Substituting here, n is 4. Sigma 1 by x is 0 0.0208. As we use calculator and we divide, we get 192.3 kilometers per hour. Approximately, I can say 192 kilometer per hour is the average speed. Question number 7. A man traveled by car for 3 days. He covered 480 kilometers each day. On the first day, he drove for 10 hours at 48 kilometers per hour. On the second day, 12 hours at 40 per hour. On the third day, 15 hours at 32 kilometers per hour. Find his average speed. Average speed is computed using harmonic mean. Here we are given two things. Let us take the speed covered in one hour as x. And the number of hours travelled, let us take as F. So, given F and X, what is harmonic mean formula? N by sigma F by X. What is N? It is total frequency. 
as I substitute. The first day it is 48 and time driven is 10. Second day 40 and time driven 12. Third day 32 and time taken is 15. Let us find out F by X. 10 by 48, 12 by 40, 15 by 32. Calculate and find sigma F by X. Total it all. HM equals N. Total frequency 37 by sigma of F by X is 0. 97705 HM equals 37.87 Kilometer per hour is the average speed. Question number 8. Monthly incomes of 8 families in rupees are given. Check the relationship between arithmetic mean, geometric mean and harmonic mean. What is arithmetic mean? Given the incomes, consider it as X. Find out the total. The total is 288. So this I call sigma X. Arithmetic mean, the formula, sigma X by N. Sigma X is 288. N. How many families? 8 families are given. So, N equals 8. As we divide, we get 36. Arithmetic mean is a simple calculation. Total it all. Divide by the number of families. So, we get 288 by 8. That is 36. For finding geometric mean, let us calculate logarithm of each x value. Two digits are there. Put one point. Two digits, one point. Two digits, so one point. Only one digit tells us zero point. So very first step, put the characteristic properly. Refer to the logarithm table. Write out the answer. As we calculate the logarithm and total, we get sigma log x is 11.2465. We know geometric mean is anti-log of sigma log x by n. Anti-log of 11.2465. n is total number of values that is 8. Divide it, then take anti-logarithm. Anti-log of 1.4058. The answer 25.46. Next step is to find harmonic mean. Harmonic mean for ungrouped data n by sigma 1 by x. n is 8. Let us find out sigma 1 by x. 1 by 70, 1 by 10, 1 by 50 and so on. Let us calculate. Sigma 1 by x as we total, we get 0. 0.4614. 8 by 0. 0.4614 gives us 17.33. As we have calculated AM, GM, HM. Let us check the values. AM is 36. GM is 25.46. HM is 17.33. Out of all, AM is the biggest. AM greater than GM. GM is greater than HM. And hence, the relationship between the averages is verified. Question number 9. Calculate the arithmetic mean, geometric mean and harmonic mean and verify the relationship among the averages. Given X and F in the question, let us find out F into X as we multiply 5 into 18, 15 into 16, 10 into 20 and so on. 
we have tabulated find the total sigma fx is 3030. Total frequency we call sigma f that is 138. Arithmetic mean the formula is sigma fx by n. Sigma fx 3030 divided by n stands for total frequency that is 138. As we divide we get 21.96. Geometric mean. Geometric mean the formula is anti log of sigma f into log x by n. So we need to create two columns. First find out log x. Remember if there are two digits one point. If there is only one digit zero point. Check in the book back. Write out the logarithm values. Then find out f into log x. So multiply f and log x columns. Tabulate and total. Sigma f log x is 174.2483. Let us substitute. Anti log of 174.2483 divided by n is 138. As we divide 174.2483 by 138, we get anti log of 1.2626. So the answer is 18.31. Proceeding to harmonic mean, we need to find out n by sigma f by x. For which, let us create the table f by x. f divided by x. 18 by 5, 16 by 15, 20 by 10, 21 by 30 and so on. We have divided and the total is 9.6396. Capital N, we know the total frequency that is 138 divided by 9.6396 We get the answer 14.32 Let us tabulate the answers AM is 21.96 GM is 18.31 And HM is 14.32 As we check AM is the biggest Second is GM and third is HM. So AM greater than GM greater than HM. The relationship among the averages is verified. Question number 10. Calculate arithmetic mean, geometric mean, harmonic mean and find its relationship. Given class intervals, our very first idea to calculate middle value, call it as M. So midpoint of each interval, 0 to 10, it is 5, 10 to 20, 15, 20 to 30, 25. If you don't know to find middle value, add and divide by 2. And we calculate 35, 45, 55. The next step, since the intervals go in 10, 10, I can find out the deviation, say, x minus a divided by, it goes on 10, 10, so divide by 10. The middle value, I can either call 25 or 35. So, here, a is 35. As we substitute 5 minus 35 is minus 30 by 10 it is minus 3 15 minus 35 minus 20 by 10 minus 2 25 minus 35 minus 10 by 10 minus 1 35 minus 35 0 45 minus 35 by 10 it is 1 55 minus 35 20 by 10 it is 2 Find out what is F into D. Here, this 
I call F. Number of students, the frequency. So, 5 into minus 3, 10 into minus 2, 25 into minus 1, 0, 20 into 1, 10 into 2. Let us use calculator. Find out what is sigma FD. Minus 20. As I know sigma FD, let me substitute in the formula. What is arithmetic mean? We know the formula. A plus sigma FD by N into C. What is A in this problem? We have assumed 35 plus sigma FD minus 20 by N is the total frequency which is 100. Let us substitute into C the length of class interval or you can check what I divide I will multiply here. As we simplify, my answer is 33. Zeros cancelling, 35 minus 2 is 33. Proceeding to geometric mean. To find geometric mean, we need to find out log the middle value, say m. Sigma f into log m is 146.9945. Log m we have calculated multiply with frequency f we have tabulated and totaled. Now we have to find out geometric mean it is anti log of sigma f log m divided by n. So gm equals anti log of sigma the value 146.9945 divided by n is 100. As you find antilog, we get 29.51. Let us proceed on to finding harmonic mean for which we need to calculate F by M. We have frequency here. And middle value here. Let us calculate F by M. 5 by 5. And proceed in the same way. As we tabulate and total. We get sigma F by M is 4.15. Now what is harmonic mean formula? It is N divided by sigma F by M. What is N in this problem? It is 100. Sigma F by M 4.15. As we divide, we get HM equals 24.10. As we check, AM is 33, GM is 29.51 and HM is 24.10. We prove that or we verify that 33 greater than 29.51 greater than 24.10. Hence, AM greater than GM greater than HM is verified. And hence the problem.